Welcome back, everybody, to Farming Simulator 22. I'm an old guy gaming, and I'm bringing you back for an end of the month update. So it is April 3rd. And uh, let's see. So let's start off with um, our money. And um, this is what's for sale, by the way. Uh, this is tempting, but um, not something we need right, right now. Uh, so, yeah, let's go to the money here. And we didn't buy anything in April. We spent $17,804 in vehicle repairs. Very expensive. Uh, both my tractors were really low. Um, that, that's the, that was the bulk of it. And then uh, we had some other equipment that we repaired too. So that's the downside, you know, to having used old equipment. You just got to repair it a lot more frequently. Uh, $531 for property maintenance. 137 mysterious production cost money. Still haven't figured out where that comes from. Uh, we sold just a tiny amount of bales when we were finishing up the contracts. Water costs, $239. Why am I paying for water? So this, oh, from the cattle barn maybe, huh? I'll bet you that's what that's from because it started in January when we when we put the cattle, the cows in. Interesting. Okay. Well, fair enough. Um, we made eighty two thousand. We grossed eighty two thousand three hundred thirteen dollars from contracts with the hay contracts and some and some fertilization. I paid workers twenty four fifty, and uh, I also had to look, uh, borrow some more money from the bank so that we could pay the workers and get everything done that we needed to do. So the first order of business is to pay this loan back off. Uh, so let's do that right now. And that leaves us with $34,135, but no more loans and interest payments. Uh, we also need to pay our um, our worker for moving pallets. Uh, so let's put in the $3,200 there. And that's taken care of. And that leaves us with $30,935. Okay, so let's see. What do we got to do? We have some silage to put away. From the previous field, I already um, fertile, did the second fertilization on the new fields, so you can see everything is fertilized here. So that's been taken care of. I do have um, I have the McCormick sitting out in the yard uh, over by the hay barns because we have to put that silage away. And we're also going to... Yeah, let's do that first. And then uh, we're going to grab whatever manure we have in the bunker and put that in uh, the greenhouses. I am very low on fertilizer, uh, both in the greenhouses and in my silo because I've just been using using it a lot. Uh, but, you know, we paid, we paid $100,000-ish for to fill that silo up over a year ago, and that fertilizer lasted us over a year, which is pretty good, uh, all things considered. Uh, this silage is ready to use, and we do need to make some TMR uh, for the cattle, too. Uh, so that's coming up. So, yeah, I mean, we got so much stuff to do. This might actually end up being a full episode instead of an update. We'll see how things go. Anyway, the first thing I need to do is put uh, this silage into the silage patch over there. We got uh, just a little bit over a full load of silage from the hay contracts. And I put that away. And we also got 11 more uh, of the large hay bales from the hay contracts, too. So that was a pretty decent month in addition to, you know, the money that we made. Okay, so let's hop in here and get uh, these bales put in storage. So that is the first thing we're going to do. Let's get her done. Okay, that takes care of our silage bales from our first hay cutting. Uh, let's see, what's next? <coughs> we need to get some TMR mix. We need to take a load of milk to the dairy and we need to get some manure. So let's go back to the main farm, and um, I guess it doesn't really matter which one of those things we do first. So, yeah, we'll uh, let's do the manure first. Why? I don't know. Let's just do it. <laughs> no particular reason. Oh, we got some air time there. Yowzers. Oh, we got to pick those eggs up, too. So we'll add that to the to-do list. Get the tractor cleaned up here. And the bale pickup too, and let's see, that's six percent damage. That's ten percent. So we'll just touch them up a little bit too, to make sure they're in good repair. It's very expensive to let this equipment get all the way down in durability. Okay, move that 
over there, and this is 303 bucks and 38 bucks. Very good. Okay. So we'll park this, and then we'll grab our Brantner trailer. We also need to get the um, the telehandler over there. In fact, we can have a worker drive that over for us. Why don't we do that? It's already got the bag loader thingy on there. Oh, you know what? He's going to actually try and go out on the street. I'll just drive it over there myself. Forgot about that. Okay, let's load her up. Ninety-nine hundred and fifty liters. Don't remember how much we got last time. But this should fill up another probably three to four greenhouses. I also want to um, put a little bit more in greenhouse three, I think it is. Just because they didn't quite get as much as the other ones. I got a flickering thing going on on my monitor. Uh, I have to, have to figure out what's going on with that. I don't know if that's the monitor or something else. Um, okay, so yeah, I think it's... No, not greenhouse three. Six, seven, I think it's eight. Let's take a look here. Okay, so greenhouse eight. Yeah, it's, it's a little bit shorter on manure than the other ones are. So let's top that off and then we'll start hitting the, the other ones. There we go. I'm not gonna put any more in these front ones because the rest of them are still pretty full. Good. Okay, now I'm going to go actually go around this way. I'm guessing we'll be able to do three more. And then we'll only have these final two here that we'll have to keep putting granular fertilizer in for one more month and then at the end of May uh, we'll be able to fill those last two up and then probably top off the rest of them or at least get them close and then after that it's manure for the greenhouses for the rest of the time free fertilizer baby well it's not really free because we have to pay for the cows and, and all that but still kind of nice now there's actually a manure spreader on sale too but it's it's a really narrow one so I think it's in, intended for um, uh, vineyards and olive groves, really narrow. So let's jump up in here and make sure we get the inside of the Brantner nice and clean because we also use this for other product. I know, it's just role playing stuff there. Don't really need to do it, but we're doing it anyways. Okay, what kind of shape is this in? 18% damage. Let's touch the, let's repair this. Uh, we'll repair the McCormick too, even though it's already in good shape. That was only $90. Make it holla. Not so bad. Okay, so um, let's look at this again. So greenhouses four and five are pretty low on solid fertilizer, but I think we can wait another, at least another day before I have to put a little bit more fertilizer in there. And then everybody else is in good shape. So six is nearly full, seven is nearly full, eight is full, nine is nearly full, 10 is nearly full. And then one, two, two are fully full and three is still is in pretty good shape too. Very good. Okay, so as far as 
these first three that we just now did, I'm not going to switch them over to manure. So in other words, the tomatoes right now are on the granular fertilizer. This is the manure version. Uh, but I want, it, I want it to use up a little bit more of the solid fertilizer first before I switch them over. I just have to remember to do that. Uh, so I'll probably let it go another, at, at least one more day, maybe even two more. We'll see how that goes. Very good. Okay, so that takes care of that. Next is, um, let's, uh, oh, you know what? I want to lock the, actually, no, we don't need to lock it. We'll just drive it around. I want to get that, that shed, but I'm thinking I might hold off a little bit longer just because I keep running out of money and keep having to borrow more money from the bank. It's not a habit I want to get into a whole lot, though. So I might wait a little bit longer on the shed. It'll happen, though. Yes, indeed, it will. Okay, so we need to get the tank truck and deliver the milk to the dairy. And why don't we use our pickup for that? We haven't driven our pickup in a while. I actually did drive the pickup for something earlier. And this tank is empty, which is good. Oh, you know what I didn't look at? I didn't look at the water in the greenhouses. Yeah, it's okay. That one's kind of low. Yeah, I might, um, I, I think, whoops, I think I'll top those off after I do the milk. Since I'm, I'll be hooked up to the trailer, any, or to the tanker anyway. Eventually, we'll probably want to get a dedicated milk tanker and a dedicated water tanker, but this one's works uh, for now. Okay. So we want to drive over this way. Okay, let's fill her up. Eleven thousand two hundred and fifty liters. Okay, and we'll take that over to our dairy. You know, it'd be nice to have a road straight across here. I might do. I might do that. I might uh, pretend that I put a culvert in. Uh, you know, for the ditch, even though they, there actually aren't any culverts in the game. Whoa! <laughs> I gotta, I gotta chill that thing out, man. Before we offload this milk. I want to see, um, is the dairy still have any milk left? Yeah, it does. Okay, so so it's ran for two months without completely running out of milk. And then, of course, it's distributing the butter and the cheese into our distribution warehouse. So we currently have um, uh, 5,193 liters of butter and 1,997 liters of cheese. And I don't think that stuff is going to be, the price is going to be good on that until later in the year. But let's just look. Yeah, see, butter doesn't get good till September. And then it bumps back up for a bit in January. And then cheese, same thing. Yeah, so when September rolls around, we're going to be looking at butter and cheese. And then eggs, October, November time. Though the price actually isn't too bad in June either. But yeah, we can wait. We have the, have the room. Might as well wait and get the best price. It's nice to know that, though, that the dairy will run for two months on one tank of milk without completely running out. So, yeah, that's a good thing. Okay, let's see. Uh, don't we get a, a dump thing? Maybe I need to pull up a little more. 
Yeah, there it is right there. Okay, start overloading. Fantastic. Okay, more milk in the dairy. When you guys were telling me in the comments that the amount of milk that my 45 head of cow produce cows produce is not very realistic. In other words, it's it's really low. It should be more than that. Well, I thought that was interesting. Okay, so the dairy is good for another two months. Um, since I have the tanker hooked up, I'm going to go ahead and just top off the greenhouses with water, and then we'll come back and do a TMR mixture. Okay, let's feed the cows. I need to, I need to check the straw too. Uh, so let's look at that. Yeah, they're still they still have half the straw, so that that could last for quite some time. Uh, so we won't worry about that. We are slowly accumulating slurry, but I don't have really anything that, that I can do with it right at the moment. So we'll just let that build up. But eventually, I do plan on getting a uh, a muck spreader or slurry spreader, whatever they whatever they call it. Uh, you know, to to use that. Um, and the cows are down to 42, 45. So, yeah, let's go ahead and give them a feed mixture here. Now, we should already have um, mineral feed in here. Yeah, we got a bunch of mineral feed in. In fact, we have extra mineral feed in here. So... I'm curious if we'll if we'll be able to get away with just one of our big square silage bales this time. We'll see what happens. Okay, so what we want to do is uh, R to cut open. There we go. Okay. And we also... Here, let's get in this guy. In fact, we can just throw that in there right now. Oh, it's mixing. I didn't turn it on. That's weird. Okay. Um, so we need to pull out a hay bale. Bring that down. Cut it out. Knock it off. Okay, hay, and we need square 2.4, and we just want one. I don't remember turning this thing on. Okay, so now it's evening back out. Just want to see what it's going to do when it fully chops up the hay. Okay. Now what we want to do is we want to put some straw in there, but we do want to be careful not to put too much straw in.
Why did why did it turn off? <laughs> I don't know. Okay, hold on. That was weird. It wasn't making any noise either. Okay, hold on. I need to see the Why isn't the thingy showing up? Something's weird here, man. All right, let's pull back away from it. There, okay, now it show, showed up. Ah, that's what we need to see. Okay. Okay, so we just have to make sure the straw doesn't fill up beyond the white arrow. Okay, let's pull it out now. Yeah, that's a good, that's pretty good. And uh, we still have 34% of this bale left. So we'll drop that in there. Now if we wanted to, we could put a little, like one more of the round silage bales in. No, I don't think we need to. I think we're good. Let's just leave it like it is. It's not, I don't know if it's 100% full, but it's, it's pretty close. It's 87%. Okay. We can turn the choppers off. I guess what I could do is pop out one of the round silage bales and throw it in there. Um, nah, let's just go with this. I think we're good. Here comes your food, cows. They're all mooing. They know their supper's coming. Okay. Here we go. That's it. Yep. Okay, we used it all up. Okay, so that brings them up to 25,000 uh, and some odd liters, which is typically where they get to uh, each time I do a feeding. Um, so we're good to go there. We're good to go on the milk, and I think the cows are good. The chickens go, are going to need feed, but we can probably wait another uh, uh, until next month before we have to worry about them. But we do have, um, we need to p pick up the eggs, though, and put those in the warehouse. And then I think we'll be finished for April. You know, our telehandler needs some uh, repair, too. Need to give it a little attention. And it could stand to get washed as well. Yeah, this thing's filthy. I really like this machine, man. I was, um... Watching somebody in in real life driving one of these on a construction site a few days ago, and I was thinking, "Hey, I got one of those." <laughs> Not really, but 
It was kind of neat, though. Pretty nice looking machine once she's all cleaned up. Okay, that should be good enough for that. And then let's... Uh, we might as well repair that, too. And... Sure, we'll repair the weight for $4. Woo, 2600 bucks to repair that. Dang. It's all right. It does good work for us. Okay. Okay, guys. Uh, that finishes up April and... Probably this episode too. I was I was originally just planning on doing an update episode into the month thingy like I do from time to time, but I think we did enough stuff uh, to have an actual full episode here. So, uh, what's coming up? We have uh, May coming up. We'll probably have some harvest contracts. Uh, what comes up in May for harvesting? Harvesting is orange. Nothing. Okay, so we're not going to get get any harvest contracts until June, and then barley, we might get a barley or three in June. Plus, we'll be doing our own uh, second hay cutting uh, also with our new fields in June as well. So May is probably just going to be contracts, and then June will be, you know, contracts and our own hay, and hopefully uh, we'll get some harvesting contracts in as a part of that. As far as the greenhouses go, once again, uh, well, the chickens, I'll, I'll, I'll feed the chickens next month, um, meaning in, in another day or two. Uh, they're, they're good to go for another couple of days. Cows are in great shape until um, the end of June, and then we'll have to feed them again at the end of June. Uh, we can let them go for two weeks, or two months, rather. And uh, the greenhouses. So, yeah, these, these two guys here. Uh, no, not those two guys. It's four and five. So I got to keep an eye on four and five. And I'm going to have to give them probably a little bit more solid fertilizer to keep them going until we can get the manure in them, which uh, will probably be in two months from now. Um, or I might grab some manure out of, out of there, you know, at the end of next month. Uh, but nevertheless, I just got to keep an eye on that because I don't, I don't want them to stop. I want the production to keep going. And with that, you guys... I believe that is it for now. Oh, you know what? Let's just see where we're at with this. Okay, so we got almost 12,000 liters of eggs. Uh, we already looked at the butter and the cheese earlier. Uh, we're up, to, <laughs> we're already up to 101,000 and change liters of lettuce. That's crazy. Uh, and this is just it, the end of April. Man, that's a lot of lettuce. Uh, 23,000 and 0.5 liters of tomatoes and 46,000.2 liters of strawberries. So yeah, we're doing, doing really good there. Now we're going to have another nice payout, uh, definitely at the end of the year. And you know, we're adding, um, butter and cheese to the mix too, which we didn't have last year in on top of everything else. So that's going to be good. Okay guys, that's it for this episode. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share the video, and we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.